Bad Friends, look at these shirts. We got I love shirts. these shirts. Our favorite shirts. And it's got all of us on it. All the Everyone's crew's on, on it. There. McConey's on there. I'm on there. Bob. There's, Bob. The Goop is on there, too, The Goop I think. is it, right? Carlos. Who else is on it? Carlos and Jesse. Is my brother on? Who's that Asian guy right there to the left? Where? In the pink. Where? To the far right. This? Yeah. That's your mom. That's your mom. Oh, that's great, mom. mom Bobby, mom. My mom's And she's on the shirt. Uh, go to badfriendsmerch.com to get it. Badfriendsmerch.com. Or on YouTube, it's uh, down below. Also, hey, we're coming down Hello, under. Elio. Where are we going down under? And down under. We're going to Sydney, Australia, Brisbane, Australia, Auckland, New Zealand, Melbourne, Australia, uh, Adelaide, Australia, and Perth, Australia. We're going down under, and we're going to be adding shows if uh, if we can. We want to do more shows. We want to come see you guys, so go get those tickets now. Get it now. Badfriendspod.com. Badfriends They'll sell out. They'll sell out. They, well, they definitely will, they so will go get them. Out. Badfriendspod.com. Go get the tickets. You two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? White dude and an Asian dude. You two are disgusting. Well, you two are something. We're bad friends. I've got sleep. Apnea, I got sleep. Four in the morning, wake up. Apnea, I got. Four in the morning, wake up. Every four in the morning. I was up at six today for some reason. My body, well, it woke me up to piss. Well, your body is athletic. It's like Caitlin Tom. What's her name? Jenner. Jen no, no, the one. The no? Basketball. Clark. 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 I'm attracted to her. I'm a little bit more of a Caitlyn Jenner than Caitlyn Clark. I'm a Clark girl. I, I, I do. I think she's so hot. You don't. You don't think she's hot? It's insane. Uh, no comment. <laughs> dude, I think she's hot, dude. Pleading the fifth. He's got to plead the fifth. Um, I know. I don't. I don't think she's hot. She's not. No. Oh, I love it. No. no. Muscular titties. <laughs> no, but she's a talented athlete. Like she probably has muscular titties. No. Big time. Yeah. There's. That's her. Is that her boyfriend or her husband? Oh, I could. Hey, Clark. Kate and Clark. I'm better. Nice not, try. Not husband, no. No nope. husband, no. Oh. Look at him. He comes so quick. Oh, he's the worst. Her biceps. You think he shoots as far shoots as far as she does? <laughs> yeah, yeah. She shoots at does Doesn't he get shoot as deep point. as she does? Yeah. I've shot from deeper. That's what she would say. I but she but dude, it's like three pointers. That's hard, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> this guy. I've been watching dude, I've I've never watched basketball, but her I like I've been looking her up like your know, reels and stuff. I go, oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know what Stephen Curry or any of those guys do, but like, I'm sure it's mm. pretty good. Yeah, Stephen Curry, the greatest shooter of all time. Yeah, what are you I, talking about? I knew him. Know him. I know him. I knew him. I know him. I know him, but you don't know him because you don't even know his name. Yeah, I've I've worked with him before. He's a four-time NBA champ, two-time NBA Most Valuable Player, MVP, and NBA Finals MVP, and NBA All-Star Game MVP, and NBA Clutch Player of the Year, and an inaugural NBA Western Conference Finals MVP. Mm. Best shooter we've ever seen. Probably one of the best. Nope. The best. Um, did you see Civil War? I haven't seen it. You know why? Why? Because I know how it ended. How does it end? <laughs> the wrong team won, man. <laughs> That's right, man. <laughs> um, it's so funny. It's like... I saw it. I, oh, I didn't ask you. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting that you say yeah, that. Did you, I didn't ask you. He didn't ask you at all. At yeah. As in like, I just look at the, the box. Kid looks yeah. at the box. Yeah, I look at the box. Yeah, yeah. And first of all, you didn't even tell us or approve with us that you brought a new new blood to the studio. Yeah. yeah. Get on the mic here, kiddo. Look at, look at that kid. What's your name? Hi, I'm Ryan. Hitler, <laughs> Hitler's dream. Hitler's dream, dude. Yeah, you, you, ha you have hair down there yet? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have hair down there yet? I'm 21, I'd hope so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When did you reach pubes? I mean, I think the same age as everyone. I'm else. looking for a man in podcast. Five, six, blonde hair, <laughs> blue eyes, podcast. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking for a man does podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, a, you're, like a, uh, you're like an internet dream. You're like this cute little young faced, Bro. Uh, blonde haired kid who you fresh off the boat. Like you look like they, they, you, they open the box. You know, they crack the box at Port Authority. Yeah. And he's like, I'm Ryan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's yeah. your name? Ryan Zayax. Really? Ryan Zayax? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you just petting him, Carlos? Yeah. yeah. That's really insane. Right now. What are you doing? He's I wanna, not a I wanna, Furby. I want to put I want to put, put sesame oil on you. <laughs> I don't know why. Eat sushi off of his body, yeah, yeah, like yeah. one of those put sesame oil on his body, dude. Yeah. Listen to the sun. What's your favorite thing to eat, Ryan? <laughs> favorite thing to eat? Yeah. Uh, probably. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! I love when white dudes show all their teeth when they talk. By the way, he's so nervous. This is so <laughs> yeah, mean. Yeah, yeah. Ryan, we love you. You're we a part of the you, family. Yeah, now. relax. Everything's good. I love you guys too. What's What's your favorite food? Favorite food? Definitely pasta. That's the go-to. 21 years old. You're a single guy? Yes. Good. Good for you. You're out there. What do they say? Playing the field? You shoot. Hey, how good is your riz? How good is my riz? It's not up for me to say. Wow. Whoa. Who's it up to? The scientists? It's, 
up to the universe. I guess. Oh, the universe. Yeah. Okay. You Christian? Christian kid? Christian conservative kid? Oh, Catholic. Yeah. Catholic. That, that's the same thing. Can I ask yeah. you another personal question or no? Is it uncomfortable? Sure. Ask me whatever you want. Are you a virgin? No. Nice. Good. Very good. <laughs> hmm. Uh, body count. What's your body count? Okay. No? Too much? Yeah, you know. What? Not Citizen? I, he, he's never going to say. Like, I just, oh, he's never going to say. Gotta, you'd have to get I there. could guess. You, but you'd have to get there in a different May way. May I guess? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. I... I'm not gonna say. I'm sorry. See what I mean? He'll never say. I, can, I, I, can, I understand. Like, gentlemen never tell. I know. General, I know they don't, right? But I can tell by your eyes. Three, dude. I was gonna say. Three. I I knew you were. I could feel you. I like cause, yeah, yeah. Because one is ridiculous. The first one was an accident. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The first one was a full fluke. Yeah. Right. A fluke. Yeah. The, the second one was a willing participant. Like what? <laughs> are you guys psychics? <laughs> yeah. We are. Yeah, we are. We are. Actually, thank you. I'm a psychic. <laughs> thank you. Google it. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, and the third one was uh, a family member, or no? The third one was actually a professor at, in college. Oh, fancy B. Fancy B. <laughs> wait, wait. You were his professor? No, not okay. exactly. No, not exactly. No, he, but he would. He was in. You know, he taught at the school that he went to. Did he really? Yeah. This is a kid from Quinnipiac. Quinnipiac. We went over there. Yeah, we went to that fucking dump. What a beautiful campus. Piece of shit. He's a shit campus. It's a nightmare, dude. I had to piss nightmare. so bad. We took nine hours to get out there. I hated every second of it. Yeah. And then they shot us in a. a oh, like dude, that was a like a news. Uh, no, it was like, no, it was no, it was more like a news, but like a Bosnian news <laughs> center or yeah. whatever, right? Yeah, like hostages were gonna come in. Yeah, at yeah, any yeah, point. yeah. It didn't. It wasn't good. Give us the money or we kill. I was like, we're shooting a podcast, sir. Mm. No, it's a great college and, and you did great and good for you for going there. And I'm glad you're working in the biz now and you're part of our new family. Give it up for Ryan, guys. Thanks for coming. I, I'm not done. I'm done with it. I have one more. Sure. Yeah. One okay. more question? Yeah, let's get him again. <laughs> did you wrestle? Did I wrestle? No, I played football, though. What position? I uh, Hold on. Yeah, yeah. You're like 5'7". What are you, 5'8 at the most? 5'7", yeah. 5'7", 165? One, more like 168. Oh, in, in, are you fucking kidding me, Ryan? I almost guessed it right on the nuts. I'm three <laughs> off. Yeah. He said it like it's I, like one sixty. I was fucking... much heavier back in the day. Though. Okay, you were okay. one seventy four back then. But in college, do they have like a special football team? Olympics? I, like, yeah, like a, a football team that's not that I, like that's not I, varsity I, or I, JV, but it's more special. Well, they have a thing called special teams. He could have been. So on you're that. on a special team, like kick return. Oh no, that's not what I mean either. I, I played in high school to clarify, not in college. Oh well, that makes sense. Were you a uh, were you a back? I was actually a center. And a, you were a fucking center? center? Yeah. You were a center? Yeah. I, I was much, much heavier. You know how big you have to be to be a center? You, there's like uh, some of the biggest guys in football. Yeah, that's yeah. A kid, that's a, Bobby, that's a guy who snaps the football. Yeah. That's like Jason Kelsey. Yeah, which is the opposite of you. Way, way, way better than me. No, yeah. well, yeah, he's a Hall of Famer. This guy's going to, he's yeah. God, different, different story. You know I would have not guessed that. You seem uh, low and low and uh, you could have been low and strong and yeah. you could have been a good back. I like yeah, that's this. me now. <laughs> low and strong. I, you know, I, I like you so much. Thank you. I yeah. like you too, Bobby. And, and that means struck a chord here. That goes a long way with me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good and and already, already in that booth, you have more love for me mm. than all three of the men that's, that's behind there. Yeah, that's not insane. That's insane. That's crazy. You like flattery. No, fuck you, dude. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm tired. You know, honestly, I am tired of your shit as of late, dude. I'm tired of your attitude, your little fucking digs, your little snaps, dude. I'm fucking tired of it, dude. Tired of it. I come to work, right? And I want to just hang out with my friend, talk, be funny. But you come here with hostility. Yep. And you're like smashing me here and there, dude. And I don't like it, dude. Yep. You're calling me fat. You know me calling me old. Oh, yeah. Calling me like you can't fuck in the sack. Stupid. stupid. He says stupid stu a lot. Stupid to me, right? And it's like, oh, you- Ugly. You know, Ugly. He says that a lot. Yeah, yeah. You call me a piece of, piece shit, of shit, a piece yep. of dung, yeah. dung shit, dude. Beetle dung shit. Beetle dung shit, dude, yeah. you call me. It's you know? not nice. I don't like it. It hurts my feelings. Stupid. It's almost Stupid. Like, it's almost like you're bad friends. I see a smirk. Well. But, stop, 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 stop. Stop. So that, when he said that, <laughs> no, just, no, stop. No one said anything. Andrew, when he said that, it made me rageful piss me right off yeah it made me so yeah, rageful. Piss me right off yeah yeah and it's a feeling of like it's a feeling that i get as a tsa actually yeah why is this taking so long or or when they go we need to check this one no you don't yeah and there's nothing in there i know you know what i mean leave it alone and that frustration i that it's like a similar feeling 
I also wanted to stick my fingers in his in Adam's apple. Yes. And dig it into his body. Yep, slowly. Slowly, yeah, yeah. So no more love for you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Good job, Ryan. We Good love God, you, buddy. We love you, Ryan. By the way, this is a legitimate question. Kind of like for... you guys are like bad friends. <laughs> I mean... Oh, fuck, that's going to be in my dreams. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to wake up in the middle of the night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck that guy. <laughs> anyway. It's almost like you're like, Bad friends, 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 friends. Yeah, stuck yeah. on a loop in our head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll never get out. So, so what's Did up? we hire that guy? We hired, so we do we. He's an intern. Are you blushing now, Ryan? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, he's blushing. Now. You did great, buddy. You did great, bud. Is he, is he, uh, he's an intern, huh? Mm, yeah. Just so it's only for the summer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah because after the summer, you know what I mean? Yeah. He gone. <laughs> but what, what could you do to become like a regular, like a, get a job at Seven Eckies? Mm, get somebody else's brain. <laughs> Dude, you're being mean now. Like he's still there. Oh, he can hear us? Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. Uh, nothing. He's good. He's a genius. <laughs> He's a genius. <laughs> no, he's a good dude. Yeah, we're, a good ju we're just yeah. joshing with him. We're just, yeah. Rib, 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 we're just, rib, we're just ribbing rib, 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 him. Rib, rib, we're just ribbing him. Yeah. Uh, he could be a long term if he wants to stay. You want to? You want to stay in L.A. and become a full time? That would be. That's the dream. All right. Well, then okay, do it. Hire fine. the kid. That's I don't know. Who cares? Anyway, let's move on from him. Can I give him my cones job? <laughs> it's not that he does much. Anyway. Oh my god. Mm. Yeah, it's in the blood. It's in your blood now. <laughs> You're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's something about well, he's it's caked in. It's caked in. It's raising a baby now, and yeah, I know yeah. that it's gotten to yeah, him a little yeah, bit because yeah. he now he's got to be like a dad all the time, and yeah. he doesn't want to be a dad. Yeah. He want he wanted to he wanted to be a rock and roll star. You know that, right? That was his real dream. And then he became a shitbag director. Yeah, you know we're still we're, he's just you know every day my agents talk me out of Spain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not. It's not even a. I'm not. It's not even a joke. Every day they call, and the, the higher higher ups call. Are you sure about Spain? Yeah, why? Yeah, it's it's, it's gonna just put a wrench in the whole fucking thing. I go, I'm yeah, I love him. I'm gonna do him a favor. I'm gonna play a zombie. They're like, <laughs> I know, but it's like we read it. Not true. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> they haven't read it. Even <laughs> worse. <laughs> yeah. uh, 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 let me. Okay, you're right. Let me say, we tried to read it, <laughs> <laughs> and we just couldn't get past the first page. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, they did try. And the first page is just the cover page. Yeah. What's the, the title? Name, what's the name your... of the film again? Jabberwocky. Yeah. <laughs> is it really called Jabberwocky? Yeah. Like the dance crew? You do know about the dance crew? I do not know about the dance crew. Yeah, well, I think you I think you should reconsider because there's an extremely yeah, it, famous dance crew called it, the Jabberwockies. And they're in Vegas and they're uh I think they won America's Got Talent. Yeah, they they did. might be based on this. Are they this are they in it? Poem. Huh? But, they, but you do know culturally people will think of this in America. Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, it's, yeah. They're like, oh, it's a documentary about our favorite dance group. Where they watch it, they're like, it's just a shitty zombie movie. <laughs> what is the meaning of Jabberwocky? Connect? What is that? Jabberwocky is a poem in Alice in Wonderland, and it's about a nonsensical uh, creature. Hmm. By Lewis Carroll. Jabberwocky by Lewis Carroll. Whoa. Interesting. But 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 I do think, unfortunately, <laughs> pop culturally, people will think of the dance crew from Vegas. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twas brilliant. And the slithy tubes. Slithy tubes. Did Jaya and Gimbal in the wild? Al Mimsy were the bogo rolls. This was based on, this is your movie? Is this the script for your movie? Yeah, it is. That's the opening monologue, right? Be the Jabberwock of my So I'm a security guard. the only lines that you have. Yeah, so I'm a security guard, right? I'm sitting there and I see the fucking zombies. Go go to the beginning. Yeah, I'm just like looking at my thing, right? You know, putting my, you know, I'm right. And I look out, I see that, I go, ah, twice brilliant. Do I have an accent? Sure. Yeah. Oh, good, good, good. Thank you. I might, I need one for that. Spanish. <laughs> oh, it was brilliant. Mm. <laughs> How do I oh, No, that's good. <laughs> no, that's good. Yeah. That is good. It was brilliant. And the slithy dwarves. Mm. Yeah. Did Geyer and Gimbal in the wave. Perfect. Yeah. All my me were the bongo. Mimsy. Okay. All Mimsy were the borongoves. Borogro. Borogro. Borogoves. Borogoves. And the mom rats all grab. Very good. Perfect. You get the next line. Beware the jabber woke, my son. But y'all's that bite the claws that catch. Beware the jub jub bird and shun the fermoius bandersnatch. Okay, can, can you go back to the first? Bandersnatch is good. I, I, I think that's the right way to go. Yeah. yeah. Twice brailing and the slithy toves. Did gar and gimbal in the wave. Right? Mm. <laughs> right? Good or no? <laughs> All mimsy were the borrow goes. And the moon rats outgrabe. 
Dude, that's the movie. You got your film. Take that. That's it. Take you that. Record to Spain. that. I'm not going to Spain. <laughs> Take that. <to> Spain. <laughs> We're still trying to work it out. That I'm gonna. You know, I called him yesterday. I'm. St I still might be able to go. I, I promise you, I would bet a million dollars you're not going to go. Why? There's no way you're going, dude. Don't try to trick my mind. Yeah, look at your face right now. I'm not going to get tricked by your mind games right now, dude. It's diabolical. Did I call you yesterday and I said we might be able to work? He's this not going to work it out. I promise you, won't be there. I, I'll fucking put a million dollars on it. <laughs> There's no way he's going. A million? I think he, we can work it out. If you put a million dollars. Five hundred dollars. Five hundred. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're well, not let, doing it. Well, let's talk about movies. Because I'll tell you this. Let's talk about movies. All right. Last week, I'm in Portland. I got a call about this. What? From Oliver Tree. Oh my god. Called me about okay. about yeah. you on set. <laughs> not happy. <laughs> and says he might get a lawyer. Apparently, know. you know, he said I, you faked COVID. You, I, ma I you made a whole deal. You what, ruined a day, shoot of a day of shooting, and then you threatened you threatened Oliver. Now he's going to sue us. He's going to sue you. What I did was while he was in makeup, mm -hmm. I went literally to the side. I didn't know anybody in the crew, and I go attention please. I swear to God, I did it. <laughs> I said attention please, and everyone stopped while they're doing. Probably like thirty people, right? Wardrobe, everybody. I go. So Oliver has monkeypox, and he's patient zero. He's the monkey, <laughs> right? So nobody touch him. And I, I was being, I'm fucking dead serious. Right, he's and gonna so sue then, you. And then I, later, I found that he was all fucking mad about it. <laughs> he said he's gonna sue you for defamation. He texted me the whole thing this morning. It was a joke. Well, he's suing. Does he not look like a monkey? <laughs> he said he's. Gonna... Can I say that? Does he look like a monkey? Raise your hand. Look at this. I'm the only one. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He says to me, in a long text. I'm gonna call him. No. Guy faked a COVID scare. Didn't have to play a role. Acted like a diva. He won't respond to my texts or my calls. Yeah. I had to fly out my lawyer, Jeremiah Jeffrey, to clean the whole mess up. Uh -huh. He's going to sue you for defamation. Yeah. I'm going to so call him right now. Well, do it, because now he's going to sue us. Did you really text you, though? He did. Well, yeah, I just read it off. I'll oh, yeah, but you're a good improviser, so. <laughs> that is true. No, yeah, but I did. There, look. Okay. He has more lines. Look. <laughs> wow, that's long. Yeah. yeah he yeah, told yeah. me everything. Yeah, yeah. He's not going to answer now. I'm going to leave a message. I'm sorry, the person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Oh, fuck you. Oh, my God. That's actually smart to not set up a mailbox. Mm. I just got a text from uh, your ex. Kalila? Mm hmm About what? Nothing. <sighs> <laughs> what is going on right here, dude? No, I can't get dinner. I have to do. <laughs> okay, that's not what she's doing. <laughs> Hold on. You'd be the last person she would ask. I can stop by after <laughs> no, yeah, that's really, dinner. Uh, yeah, go go ahead. Go ahead. Red ginseng royal jelly. Well, what is it? She says come to hotel. I mean, I can play with uh, the same thing with your wife. All right, you can actually no, you can. Yeah, yeah go not, ahead, I'm please. Not, I'm not gonna. Swabadopolis. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. I want to tell you something. Okay, go ahead. I feel like, look, look at me in the face real fast. You're my best boy. And I love you, and you know that. No, well, what is it? Well, I want to come what clean. I want to come clean to you about something. Is it going to make me mad? <laughs> I, feel like it's seri I feel like it's serious. <laughs> well, it's not serious, but I do want to tell you something. It's going to make me mad. It's not. It's not even that big of a deal. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Ooh. I'm... Okay, uh-oh. I'm... <laughs> Oh no! I'm starting a podcast with Kalila. <laughs> no, 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 the woman that was here, the old lady that came in here, yeah, McCone's wife was, was not not McCone's grandmother. She's an internet personality named Angry Grandmother, and we put her up to the whole thing. She is not related, and the and the internet's going to be surprised that you didn't know. And I wanted to tell you, but she's got an internet following. Her name is the Real Angry Grandmother, and. <laughs> She's very funny. Look, look at her. Wait, go to her main page. There, you see a picture of us on her main page. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Nothing gets by you, pal. <laughs> yeah. I swear to God, I'm my mother's life. I didn't know. Well, here's how I know. <laughs> by the way, for the audience, here's how I know Bobby didn't know. Yeah. He called me, right, that night. I'm driving down to the comedy store. I'm over the hill. He literally calls and goes, hey, what? Did, why is she so mad at me? <laughs> And I was like, what are you talking about? And he goes, why is McCone's fam? Do you think he's talking shit behind our back? 
to her about us? I said, no. It, 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 right it, it, could I say something? It all lined up in my mind. To be it's real. That he could be that big of a bitch. <laughs> that he would go to his grandmother and start complaining about me. Yes. And all of a sudden there's like this family resentment. Yes. She had to fly all the way over here. So that's not your brother? No, that's that's her I, grandson. I've never met them before. No, we've I never. thought you were. I thought it was just like the bit, like when you had me sit down. I'm like, oh, he's continuing. We bit. thought you were playing with us, dude. But then you texted me over the weekend, and you never texted me. I, I it's not like just. It's joke. not just that. I had to see. I had. I had to see Beverly about it. You had to go to your therapist. Yes. <laughs> wow. Macon, yeah, this... I literally had to go to my therapist for that reason, and then I was just like, I, you know, I said my behavior, like I can't even see when I'm at treating people so poorly, mm. right? And I'm not aware that people are, there are things going on. I was like, what is it about me? And she's like, Why would you do You this? have to be more mind. No, it's fuck you. <laughs> fuck all of you. You guys are all involved in this. Go fuck yourself. I have nothing to do with it. Yes, that. you do, dude. How? You're Because you knew. I didn't know. Yes, you did, dude. You did. They hid it from me. Yeah, you didn't know. From I didn't know who that was. So but who I thought did you think she was? His grandmother. What do you mean? And then they told me. And then I said, when? We should tell Bobby Afterward. after the episode. And then I said, we should tell Bobby. And then the boys were like, don't tell him. Okay, all right, all right, I believe you. Carlos. No, stop, stop, stop. Yeah, no. Okay, Carlos said it. I, I, I believe you. I do, but. No, I knew, I knew the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Rocket, Rocket money. money. Did you find any subscriptions you forgot about, Andrew, or any you paid for twice and didn't realize it? Let me tell you something. Ooh, they got me good. Got How much it. do you think you're paying subscriptions every month? Probably it's way more than you think. Uh, over 74% of people have subscriptions they've forgotten about. I definitely did, and it bummed me out, but thanks to Rocket Money, I'm no longer wasting money on the ones I forgot. Most Americans think they spend about $62 per month on su subscriptions, but get this, the real number is closer to $300. 300 bucks. That's spend. literally thousands of dollars a year, guys, half of which we've probably forgotten about. Thankfully, Rocket Money can take care of all that. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills so you can grow your savings. Rocket Money has over five 5 million users and have saved a total of 500 million in canceled subscriptions, saving members up to $740 a year when using all of the app's features. Look, you've heard about it before. We've used it. It's actually great. It helps you save some money and you need to be saving money as well because the summer's coming. You want to get out there at the beach with your friends. Huh? I Spend love it. Things you love. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash bad friends. That's rocketmoney.com slash bad friends. RocketMoney.com slash bad friends. Manscaped. Manscaped. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to announce that Smooth Sack Summer is officially upon us. Mm, get that Smooth Sack, baby. When you're playing in the summer sun, make sure you're groomed from pubes to bum. Thanks to our friends at Manscaped, you can make this season your smoothest yet. I just actually, no joke, uh, yesterday shaved and cleaned up my sack. It looks so nice. You want to feel it? No, I don't want to feel it. I'll okay. taste it. But my point is, is this. My sack, right? From first glance, you'll go, oh, it's shaven, but it's not. There's rogue hairs around it. All the time. It looks like Chernobyl, like it's yeah. been working in the factory. Right, but now with the Performance Package 5.0 Ultra, it's the ultimate bundle to keep your boys downstairs cool while looking hot. Mm -hmm. Join 10 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with our exclusive offer. Get 20% off and free shipping when you go to manscaped.com. Use the code Bad Friends. Summertime and the trimming is easy. The Manscaped Performance Package 5.0 Ultra has everything you need to prepare that summer bod. Look, we've been using this for a long time. I got one Manscaped uh, for my, uh, my balls and my pubes. And then I got other Manscaped stuff that I use on my nose hairs and my ears. They have everything. They also have Manscaped boxers and the Shed travel bag. So much stuff in the Performance Package 5.0. You gotta get it. How do they get it, Bobby? Get 20% off free shipping with the code BADFRIENDS at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with the code BADFRIENDS at manscaped.com. It's smooth sex, summer boys. Get on board or get left behind. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code BADFRIENDS at manscaped.com. Okay, now I can go bad, man. Again. Yeah, fuck us, fuck us. Go no, ahead. No, no, I'm not gonna fuck you. <laughs> what I'm saying is, is that, wow. And I, I think the per let, let, she did a great job. She did great. Let me see what my feeling is. Yeah, close. Who your am eyes. I? Who am I mad at the most? You know, it was I, Andrew's I, I, idea. I, 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 it was Andrew's idea. No, how was it my idea? Hmm, bring this lady. Who sent it to me? It was my idea. Yes, I didn't find her. He... It's so funny because my anger still goes to McCone. <laughs> <laughs> it yeah, should, yeah. He because was... you should have said over the weekend. That hey dude, it was just a, there was an internet lady and whatever. Did I ask you that too? Is like I suddenly I said that you said you said is that really his grandmother? Yeah, and I said I think so. <laughs> and you went, why would she be so mad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why would she be so mad? 
And then I kind of replayed it in my mind because you said it somewhere in Minnesota. Yeah. She said, right? He was very good at playing along. Right. So I, I was like, was there an incident where his family was there and I was like not available? I feel like because I feel like I'm really good with families and no, I go, you hey, said hey how are you? And I, and I hug and all that stuff, right? You're better than Andrew. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I know. What did you just say? Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. What did you just say? Bobby's a great. He love. He loves to ham it up. Yeah, ham it you up go, with families. More genuine, real. No, 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 no. <laughs> don't, don't, <laughs> McCone, McCone, most? get up to the mic. Don't screw it up. No, McCone, McCone. What are you? You were doing fine. <laughs> no, what, what, what? You were, you were, you were being honest. And I appreciate it, yeah. but now with this thing you're doing now, nah, dude. No, go ahead. Say your piece. <laughs> yeah, 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 Say yeah. your piece. Yeah, I, I it's say, desperate. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, man. I was like, I was, I was like. Andrew will say hi to my parents. Andrew will say hi to, to a group of people, but Bobby will go up to everyone individually and start, you know, yeah, you, you're grabbing not. them and touching Physic them. Physically assaulting them? No, 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 no. I say hello and I move on. Okay, first, first of all, I'm just saying Bobby has more. I don't grab, I don't do that. Oh, what the fuck? Are you Let's not talk about the grabbing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, what, you, what he means to say. Is that you physically assault his family. That's not now. what I'm saying. What he means to say is I shake hands, I do hogs, mm -hmm. right? And I re I'm really mindful and I'm really there present. I mean, you, you guys, you guys both have different ways of showing love, you know. Mine's yeah. more genuine. His is more artificial. And Yours, like no, it's not artificial. We have different Yours ways is more of approaching. Loud and things. in your face. Yeah, annoying. More subtle, and mine is more real, more and normal. distant, and more like unavailable. He's a listener, and you're a you're a. Grab. He's not a listener. That that I I I would draw the line there. He's not a listener, dude. Mm. He's a listener. And no, you're a he only listens to himself. <laughs> he can say whatever he wants. I mean, we know how wrong he is. It's insane. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everybody in here knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let him create his false reality. So what I want to say is that that still doesn't give that that doesn't um, resolve our situation. You know, um, I called you over the weekend. You texted me. I texted you. What did I say? You said, "What's up with the all eyes on Rafa? Is this a movie?" Mm -hmm. I said, "No, this is a Palestine." Palestine. Thing. Thing. Oh, that's right. That's and right. Then a couple of jokes. That was my way in to like kind of <laughs> no, like let's just do some small talk. You wanted yeah. to see, and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't care small about. Talk. I knew what Rafa was. Yeah, yeah. What? You do not like small talk. Yeah, but I was sure. trying to get right in, now. like, hey, and then my next thing was gonna be, you was gonna be, hey, is there any way I can make it up or whatever? But then I was just like, nah, no, <laughs> because I thought that your grandma was acting way too fucking, you know what I mean, <laughs> intense for whatever the situation. A little over the top. Yeah. yeah. So wow, okay, so that's good, and that's not your brother, and okay, so we're playing I feel like tricks. That guy looks nothing like me. He was, he's like huge. No, yeah, he's a white guy. Yeah, yeah. Right. There's tricks, and 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 I guess I'm gonna have to get everyone back. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to do that. Whatever you feel like you need to do. I need to do it. I mean, it was a pretty, pretty harmless thing, but yeah, it wasn't I, harmful. I, no, <laughs> dude. When I when I fucking do a special session with my fucking therapist, right? And I'm fucking brooding about it and thinking about it all fucking weekend. It's, what are you doing with your face, dude? <laughs> I'm just mocking your bullshit. <laughs> you didn't do a special session with your therapist. I did. You, you had to do a regular session. And you <laughs> brought that up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it was special. <laughs> They're all special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, then there we go. Still special, nonetheless. Therapy is special. It's special, nonetheless. Okay. So, all right. So you got that. Anything else? Let's just get out of the way today, guys. Let's get everything, put it all, everything on the table and go, this is what we did and this and that. Anything else? Go ahead. Um, I took these dick pills mm. and it lasted too long, mm -hmm. like four days. And I didn't think they would be that potent. Four full days? Yeah, four days. Mm. And so I thought- Could have had a stroke, by the way. No, I didn't know. No one told me. I'm telling you now. Thank don't you. ever do that again. Thank you, Andrew. You have to read yeah. The prescription. Yeah, you got to read it. Well, you don't need a prescription for these. You buy them at a gas station on Vermont. Oh, you did like the little extends or whatever. It is? No, the Mexican ones. The it's the called rhino like a, or yeah, Rhino, Rhino. But oh, the Rhino cock. There's a new one that says no headache, so I got that one. Uh, did okay. you get a headache? Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> well, the, well, then, well, it's on yeah. the package. Yeah. Okay. I know. Yeah, but the Hot Rod 5000s give you headaches, so the Rhino <laughs> didn't. So I was really happy. But... What's in, what's in there? Is it the same ingredients as? Uh... Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I I don't know what's in it. I just take it and I. I know I get an erection. I learned this early on. It's Do you not? Can you not get an erection without it? No, I can, but I use it as insurance, so I can have like an extra fun time. Well, but if you're attracted to the person, do you, then do you have trouble sometimes? Sometimes I will. So I'll get in my head and I'll start thinking, oh, like I want to watch something later. I'll like think about a million things. Watch what later? Like a film or something pornographic? No, like YouTube or something. So like I'll think, think about later in my night, and like it'll affect me. So and you're I'll, sitting with the with the person that you're interested in. You're thinking about YouTube. I'll think about y'all. What? Why? Don't don't don't. <laughs> we, I, I don't oh, think please, about you when I'm trying to get. Please hurt. don't. 
I love y'all. I know. I love I, you too, but, but that's not, nonetheless, I don't think about you at all. But when I get in bed, I think about everything in my life, and y'all are such a big part of it. And when I think of y'all, my boner goes down. A okay. Little. When do you think about? Oh when, who have you? Hooked, <laughs> who's the last person you hooked up with that you had no thoughts like that? That it was just free and high school. <laughs> I. Hooked it was up, that long ago. No, I probably like years. Okay. You haven't hooked up with someone in years that you felt comfortable just getting a heart on and not thinking about life? Yeah, it's been years. I have, wow. like, I, I take medicine for it. It's, it's wow. been a couple of movies. That's incredible. It's been, a, what, what do you mean it's in a couple of movies? I saw, I related to a, a, one of these characters. I saw a movie called Red Rocket with Simon Rex, and he had to take dick pills all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love him. Yeah, I know. I was like, oh, that's me. I went to the premiere of that movie. Oh, I'm jealous. <laughs> So yeah, that's what, I <laughs> what, what? What does it have to do? With that? Yeah, what happened? Oh, just that I was hooking up with this girl, and like the insurance stopped working, and I got really upset. In was, the middle of it. Yes. But it has nothing to do with me and the deception. I was, I was saying, what? Like, I don't care about your personal life. I could have done that too, dude. Oh, I'm yeah, yeah. What, no, no, no. Mind. What I'm saying is, is, there, is there anything that you want to put on the table where you lied to me or just <laughs> oh, me in any kind of way? I thought we were just your about life. Life. Well, then I can do the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want no, to... but I do like life stories. That is really. Yeah, what the yeah, we're but, in a special session. Not in this segment. <laughs> There's segments, dude, in the show. Yeah, I just, I was getting honest with my buddies here. So my yeah, 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 oh, thank you for yeah, the Thank you for that. Yeah, Very yeah. nice. I, I mean, it's just like, I can't. Yeah, I, I don't know about these people. I, I think we should start anew. <laughs> I'm so down. Yeah, yeah, you clip, fire yeah, everybody. I'm in trouble. Huh? Maybe, maybe, maybe the little kid from Connecticut can stay. Who, Ryan? Yeah. I don't know, though. He said some things that were like suspect. Well, he walked in and he said, called everyone the N word, which I thought was it insane. was weird. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why he approached. Sup? You know what I mean? Yeah, and I was like, I said, what? Ryan, slow yeah, down. Yeah, slow down. You're an intern. Yeah, but anyway, um, well, look, let me think about if, it. If you want to clear house, we'll get these guys out of here. No, I really please. do. I mean, I, Bobby, no. Stop for a second. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to say to you. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, is I laughing too much? Yeah, you're like a hyena. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't I'm like laughing. hyena laughs. You know I'll that. Laugh excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what I mean, I don't. Excuse me. This guy's. This guy, dude. Please. This is not a comedy show. Yeah, I'm just trying to be. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello. I'm... Are you here? I'm here. Are you listening? Yes. So what I wanted to say is, is that, and I'm, 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 I'm going to be truthful, and really dig into my feelings here. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's just been an adventure doing this podcast with you guys. It really has. I mean, the kind of experiences we've had, I will never forget them. I don't know why you're laughing. Yeah, what are you smiling about? Yeah, you piece of shit. Why are you laughing? I'm being fucking... No, either one of you, you fuck me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, both of you. Stop. Would, like, would you get genuine? Like, you know, I get... Genuine. I get on shit. And am I... No, it's not. Am I reading this wrong? No, they're doing it. They're doing it, They're right? egging you on. Yeah, they're egging me out right now. And I don't like it. You know it. what, dude? I don't even have to say it to them because this is how I feel. So I could just say it to... Say it. I don't want to say it to you either for some reason. Well, say it to camera then. I'll just say it to the wall. To the audience. Well, no. To the audience. Oh, yeah. To the camera, not to the wall. Okay, so like, <laughs> Please, dude. Well, I don't want to coach you. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm please, sorry. Please. You do as you may. All right. So what I want to say is the last, you know, since the beginning of Bad Friends, it's just been an adventure. I've, you know, when I was a young guy, I was like, it was never part of my dream to do this but it was like was i mistaken because wow this has been a fucking wild ride and it's been one of the greatest things i've ever experienced and the people were it's almost as if like they were all meant to be there like we all fit like a fucking puzzle dude right and, and when you put the puzzles together it's a beautiful painting and sometimes yeah a rogue piece gets in there and exactly. Like, what puzzle is this? What from? puzzle piece is this? Who yeah, what does this go to? Yeah, and then that road pe rogue piece, McCone, mm -hmm. right? Right? But Andrew hammered it in. Yeah, yeah. As hard as I could. I and said you this put, has gotta and fit. You put, so it's basically, you know what I mean, a, a gigantic um puzzle of a gigantic butterfly. Mm. But the rogue piece you can tell is the edge of a swastika. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm like trying to jam in this little tiny swastika piece inside this butterfly. Yeah. And then the whole thing be becomes Once, very Nazi. Nazi right. Yes. It's Nazi propaganda. Right. So what I have to do is I have to fucking unpuzzle it right. to its pieces, throw it in the garbage, mm -hmm. right, and go buy a new puzzle. And buy a Mein Kampf book. Yeah. You have to start exactly. all over. Well, whatever it might be. Sure. Yeah. Sure. I mean, I don't know Mein Kampf. Oh, my God. Great book. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can't put it down. Yeah. 
it, but I'll tell you what, you're yeah. right. I think you need to throw away this old puzzle. It's not yeah, working Yeah, yeah, the anymore. puzzle's not working. So thank you for being my old puzzle pieces. But it's not fitting the other anymore for me, the way it is. Oh, yeah? What you doing, dude? I'm just bummed. Well, lies and deceit yeah. are going to get you there, but Yeah. That's you too, dude. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Are you throwing me off the show? <laughs> no, I said you too. I love you. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was saying. I love you like, too. Like you too, dude. You too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not with them, but you too in terms of love. I love you. I love you too. Hey, who's the highest, who do you think is the highest grossing touring musical artist of last year? Taylor Swift. Correct. Who's number two? Whoa. That's a good one. Mm. I know you got it. I know you, think, you, I, think, I, know, I know you got it. Yeah, you, I know. Oh, you, really? Yeah, I know you. think I got it? I know you do. Yeah, yeah. These guys don't fucking have it. Did Harry Styles go last year? He's in there. Not he's, two, though. But he's number five. Number five. Wow. Okay. Did Beyonce do anything? Number two. Did I get it? You got it. Fuck yeah, I did. Who's number three? I, I don't know if I know. I would keep You're going. this good. You've gotten fucking three of the five. You think okay. you can't knock out two more? So who else went out there um, last year? Um, I'm going to tell you this. Yeah. Is it a group? This number three. Room five. Is a group. No, but that's a very good guess. This is a group, and it's a group where you go. I mean, yeah, they were very, very popular. Mm. 10 years ago, but I cannot believe they're still making that much money. Mm. Lincoln yeah. Park. <laughs> bigger. Much bigger. Much bigger than Lincoln Park. Much bigger. Yeah, Chainsmokers. No. That's, no. Okay. Now you're going, you're, uh, you're, I'm going the opposite you're so cold. You're freezing cold. You're yeah, in the middle yeah, of the cold. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. In the sunlight. <laughs> that's bad. I guess, yeah. No? You guys, you guys heard the song. I Don't keep doing it. They all heard it. Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. Coldplay. Yeah, Coldplay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And then- the, I, That doesn't surprise me. And Okay, but- No, no, no. I like it. What do you mean? Coldplay- Clockwork. Is like that ten, what the song? 10 years ago, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then the next one is- uh, I got this one right. We were tri doing trivia. I, I know one. What is it? Imagine Dragons. No, it's a solo art. Well, it's a man's name that is the band. It's a man's name that it's is- the, It's his name, but it's a band, but it's him. Do you know what I mean? Like he's not a solo artist because that's not a real. Wait, wait. The, is the is is his name in the band's name? Yeah, it's his name. Okay, and well, okay. He go, they go by him. They go by him, John Mayer. No, but he's with because he's with uh, Grateful Dead. The Grateful Dead. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, with. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. The Dead. I have no idea. Do you guys know? Give it a guess. And I got this. I was shocked because I thought, what's an old timer guy that's touring? By the way, Bruce Springsteen. Mm -hmm. Wow, very good, Fans B. Bruce? Bruce Springsteen. Really? Yeah. It was, I mean, you could look it up. The number it was like 300 kills something it. million. Yeah, he kills it. Awesome. Yeah, you know how much awesome. Taylor Swift uh, made? Over a billion dollars. I know. It's a insane. billion fucking dollars. In one year. Yeah. It's crazy. It was the top uh, touring, touring. Now what would I do with that money? A billion dollars? Oh, I, I'd never see you guys again. Yeah. <laughs> but honestly. But, I would hope not. No, if you got a billion dollars, would you call me and go, D I think I'm done? No. No. You know what I would do? What? Give me half a I, I would, half a billion. Uh, half a billion? Yeah, yeah. No. Would, would you give me any of that money? <laughs> no. A billion dollars? You give me some. I don't think so. I think I would give you. Well, I would say outrageous. What, well, outrageous. I, outrageous. I would say, what do you need? Ten million dollars for what? Just to give it to me, so I don't feel jealous. Okay, <laughs> but I wanted. But I. Okay, but how about this? Then you have to turn in receipts of what you buy with it. You I want to know. I want to know every dime you spend. I That's fine. See, I will do that. Really? Every dime. I want to see every dime. Yeah, cash clash of clans, forty thousand. <laughs> that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you will. You spend that much on a on a video game? No. Do you remember when Clinton called me? He goes, "No more clash of clans. Delete it right now." Because I spent ten thousand dollars in one month or whatever on clash of clans. Anyway, um, Jesus Christ. No, I would give you. I would give you as much as you wanted. No, no, no. Just ten million. I don't think you would. Yes, I would. Because when people get money, they hoard it. What do you mean? I'm generous. I would absolutely give you money. I wouldn't even think twice about it. I give fucking. I I would give. I would give in this room. Yeah, I, yeah tell what what everyone would get. If I won a billion dollars, yeah, yeah, yeah. And what, if I if yeah. I won the lottery, I would give. Well, first of all, I do my family first. Once, that, would I be? And some, no? no, I mean my mother and my father. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I would take care of course, of course, of course, of course. My little sister. Of course, your little sister. And then when I got to the bad friends family, I would give McCone. 10k pretty generous that's really nice pretty generous yeah i'd break fancy off with a mill i'd give him a milli nice well he's a dad yeah nice and i'd give carlos 
probably one of those. Did they sell gift cards for rehab? Do they have gift cards? <laughs> they don't have that. They don't. They should. No. Maybe get them insurance. I'd give them. Insu- I'd give them health insurance. Health insurance. I'd pay for his health insurance. You can go to rehab. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would give him health insurance. Yeah, yeah. And then Ryan, the new guy, I'd give him. I don't know, a couple hundred grand. Just toss it to him, just to see what uh, you know. Fuck up just, his life. You know what? It's so fun. Just to see what would happen. Yeah, just to see what happens with Ryan. Yeah, like so, I, like I I've been gardening. What? Yeah, I've been gardening. What are you gardening, babe? I'm, I'm like I'm, right now I'm. <laughs> Does my little yellow man have a green yeah, thumb? Yeah, don't call me that. What's yellow? What is yellow? Don't call me a green, green. If you mix yellow and green, what color is it? No, I just the green t- thumb. What color I, I have is a problem, yellow and but green? Not, not the yellow part. What? I have a problem with the green thumb, not the yellow part. Why you have a green thumb? Okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> I've been gr- 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 growing catnip. You've been growing catnip. Yeah. In your yard. No, outside of my yeah my front yard. How do you grow catnip? Is it so? Is it a hard thing to grow? Available no, I, I, to buy and plant at any time, sunny wild. and well drained large pot. Yeah, so I've been get, I got the pot, I got the soil. It's, it's weed for cats, right? Yeah, 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 they love it, right? Wow. So I've been growing it, right? Right now, there's like only nine little pieces that stuck out. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? So there's like only nine little grass hairs that are sticking out. But I just planted it a week ago. Yeah, anyway. So um, you grow the catnip? Yeah, but I experimented and I put Diet Coke in like a little piece of. <laughs> see if that would work. It doesn't work. No, it doesn't. Yeah, typically. That's my not. point, though. I don't know why you even brought that up. What was that? Was it? No, I just I experiment. You're experimenting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're trying. I try. It doesn't work. I like it's it. water. It's, now. it's water. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. I'm going to now go to carrots and other things. Carrots is probably pretty good, easy to do. I think you could do carrots. Yeah, yeah. And the reason why is because of this movie. I saw. It's, it's fine. What movie? Um, it's fuck. I don't know. It just fucking. Oh, I know what it is. Um, v- perfect days. Perfect days. Vin Vendors. So this got you into this got you into gardening. You've now got a green thumb. Oh, this looks this supposed to be really good. This is about a little Asian guy who gardens. No, he's um, janitor. You saw it? Yeah, yeah. It's a be- it's a it's <sighs> it's a beautiful film, huh? It's just a beautiful film. It's a film of. Uh, uh, you know, just give me a second. <laughs> yeah, we are okay. I w- I want to say and. Uh, when I was a young man, I had nothing. Really, I, hi, mm. hello. I don't know about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You actually had a pretty substantial amount. Who? <laughs> you. You grew up in a fucking country club. What are you talking about? No, no, no. no in, what I'm saying in my early twenties. Okay. Please, I mean, I'm just trying to be. I, what you're doing? Be right, specific. In high school, you definitely had. Something. What you're doing right now is not good. You're you're a rich drug addict. <laughs> Hyena. <laughs> Hyena again? That's enough, Carlos. Enough it's of not that. Funny. Okay. All right, go ahead. So anyway, and I, and to, in order for me to be happy, is I had to f- look at the little things in life, right, and be mindful about the things around me and find joy in those things. Right. Like for instance, I've said this before. I would work at this restaurant, and it'd be like you know, a, a breakfast place. I would, it, I'd be slammed. It was in the cove. I would sit on the edge of the cove and watch the seals and the oceans. And that would f- give me joy, just the simplicity of watching nature and the wind and all that stuff. And I had no money, no pussy, nothing. Mm. Okay. And then since I started doing stand up, you get away from that, right? And you want, you know what I mean, dopamine hits and you want to get to the next level and all these things that fix you, that thinks you're going to fit, right? But then this, I saw this movie, I was like, it brought me back to those days. So this, this guy's a gardener, right? And he, Janitor. No, not janitor. I mean, he's a janitor, right? And it's every day he just shows up, goes, cleans toilets. But he looks at little things in life, like, you know what I mean? The wind blowing through the trees, right? Or like, you know what I mean? People just, people, homeless people. I just, and he finds little things and he finds joy in those things. And it's like, I, I, when I saw that, I was like, oh shit, I think that's what's missing in my life. That's all. If he was an Asian, would you have liked this as much? No, no. Yeah, I was going to say, that's all of it. Yeah. Yeah, that's if most, this was of, just that's a most of it. That's most of it. Janitor. No, no, no. I'd, in America. Spit right on it. Right? <laughs> Two thumbs down, dude. Two thumbs down. Yeah, yeah. I'd pick it fucking the theater. Fuck that movie. If this movie was called Tough Times and it was just about a janitor fuck, and. Fuck you, janitor. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> Bespoke Post. This spring, the best box you'll open up all month is the Bespoke Post and their new seasonal lineup of must have box of awesome collections. That's right. I'm opening up my box of awesome right now. Uh, this thing is so wonderful, by the way. It, whether it's for you or for a gift, it's something great to give to someone else. It comes with so much unique, beautiful, 
small business run companies. And to get started, all you got to do is uh, take the quiz at boxofawesome.com. Your answers are going to help them pick the right box of awesome for you. It's free to join, and they release new items every month across a ton of different categories. I've gotten camping gear. Oh, I think this might be a little travel bag for me because I'm a little oh, wow, traveler. Wow, look at that thing. I'm a little traveler boy. Yeah, it's for your suit or something, huh? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah Look yeah, at yeah. me. Now I can look show at her. Look I, at him go. Now I can go to Australia and style my suit, mate. Yeah, and, yeah uh, mate. mate. Oh, Plus, with each box of awesome, you're supporting small businesses. Ninety percent of the everything that comes in your box of awesome is from a small up and coming brand it's free to sign up and you can skip a month or cancel at any time it actually is so amazing they've been so good to us they send so much cool stuff over and it's great like I said for yourself or get it for someone else for a gift if you don't know what to get somebody be like oh this is pretty great it's curated uh, get a free mystery gift with your first monthly shipment when you sign up at boxofawesome.com and enter the code badfriends at checkout that's boxofawesome.com code badfriends for a mis free mystery gift with your first monthly shipment boxofawesome.com code badfriends bad is that him washing at the sink? No, he's at a spa. That's a spa? That's how, you, in, you remember? Yeah, that's, that's it. That's, so what, I, what yeah, stop, stop, stop. Look at me right now, dude. Thank you. Look at me right now, dude. You're not looking at me, dude. I've been to a spa. It doesn't look like no, that. No, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> I've asked you for, for like five years. To sit on a bucket and wash my balls? No, shut the fuck up. That guy's washing his balls on a bucket. I, I, I know. I've asked. The only reason this works with you guys is because your penises don't touch that bucket. Your balls don't touch that bucket. You're sitting on a bucket. He's sitting wide butthole on that bucket. Look at those. Little, that was me last night. Look at those little cock washers. <laughs> and so what? You pull up to it and you wash your penis there? Is that what those things are? It's not just a penis. It's, can I just finish what I was going to say? I and wanna, then we can I go wanna, back to it. I want to know what the cock washer is. What uh, is uh, that? It's not a cock washer. Just stop, okay? Zoom in on that so, little cock oh washer. So five years ago, Andrew. Yeah. I keep saying, let's go to the Korean spa. I go every night. You won't go. I know. Right, and so if you had gone, if you go with me, that's what the shower, like the baths look. Well, like. this isn't gonna make me want to go. It's the best. You get really. What you do is you get the little plastic stool. You sit down. Then you, you see that bucket underneath him. Yeah. Sometimes it's a bigger bucket, but it's plastic. Right. right? And you get you get a towel. And you take the soap. Right. And you you know what I mean. You get the fucking suds going. You cover the bucket with a towel. Why? You just sit raw ass on a fucking bucket. No, that's not the bucket he's seen. The blue thing. There's a one right, right by this fit foot, right, right there. That white thing. What's he? He's sitting on a blue thing. Do you? Yeah, sit that's on one a of those? seat. It's a plastic seat. But but he's raw ass on it. He's open raw ass. That's on That's what it? you do on it. No, I'm good. Okay. I, well, oh, then you're not good. You're why do bad. I want to sit on so where some other guy's asshole was spread out? Well, so what I like to do is I like to spray it down a little bit. That's not going to do it. Uh, anyway, go ahead. I don't want to go. And by the way, then you stand up and your dick is in mirror. It's like a weird, it's just a weird, this is a weird sexual. It's not. I don't like it. Those little cock washers, I don't like. We have to do it. Tell me something. You bathe sitting, this is what you do. You take a shower sitting down. So what I do is I, I so I. Do you know how many people that are paralyzed that would dream about taking a standing up shower? That's like a, <laughs> this is ableist. This is mocking the disabled. And I won't stand for this kind of shit. Go ahead. Thank you. Back to me. When, you, when I'm sitting there with the towel, with the suds, hmm. I get every piece of my body. I scrub, I scrub, right? And I take the, you know, I mean, there's a bucket. It's full of water. I rinse it. I do it again. Then I'll dump the, the bucket, put fresh water in it, put it over my body, right? It's more of a, it's kind of like a bath shower. It's but, a therapeutic ba bath. Yeah. And it's, you can turn to the guy next to you and go, how was your day? I don't want to. What did you golf today? I don't want to talk to someone when I'm washing my car. What'd you golf today? I didn't golf today. How many golfers did you encounter there? No, I just Well, it's no, in Korea town, I, so it's a lot. Yeah. It's, it's by a, the way, uh, it's connected to a driving range. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was just saying it because I'm making it seem like he was next to me. I would never go. Here, here's me. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, what'd you golf today? Uh, hey, I'm washing my cock. Don't <laughs> yeah, yeah. talk to me when washing my balls. That's insane. Yeah. I don't although, want to have a conversation while I'm washing my balls. Although there should be a rule. Last night I was at the Wii Spa. Okay. I'm in the steam room. It's packed for some reason. There's a lot of black people last night, which I love. <laughs> <laughs> the way you said it. <laughs> well, thank, I love it. Thank God for the steam. I love it. Right. So I'm like in the steam room. Then I see this tall Asian kid. You just walk in there and keep tripping on black dicks. Yeah, Jesus yeah. Christ. All these <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Pick that up, will you? And then he, this guy, and it, it, I have two rules. <laughs> Can I tell you my two rules? Where I don't like being recognized. AA meetings. 
Okay. You're going to get recognized at AA meetings. I know, but I don't like when they go, I'll say, if they go after an AA meeting, I'm on the road. Like I just went to Portland. I went to an AA meeting. Yeah. And people were like, hey, can I get a photo with you? And I go, not at Amy. I, I'll do it anywhere else but here. Right. That's a private time. Yeah, because also it's like I'm like one of many. I'm I, not, I, I, I don't get feel, that. Okay, so. I get that. Steam Room is another one. So last night I'm at Wee Spa, right? And the, I see this tall Asian guy, probably young, early 20s. And he go, and he's completely naked. And he goes, yo, like with his legs like this. He goes, yo, like this. <laughs> Bobby Lee, like this, right? <laughs> And I was like, chill, 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 out, chill, chill. It drives me nuts. <laughs> they cut to, I, I'm taking a photo with them. I don't know why. <laughs> but I was like, all right, let's just do it real quick or whatever. But like, my point is that those are two places. If you ever see me there, don't ask for a photo. But, I, but, but you know, but I, bop, 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 it, makes, it makes his life. Not when I'm naked in a steam room trying to relax. Well, uh, oh, ah, uh, so yes. Oh, oh, ha, ha. This is my point. What? Why am I going to this place to do a cock washing here when I can go to a very comfortable private place? You're proving my point. No, you, because uh, when uh, I go to a spa, when I go to a spa and I get a massage and I go to sit in the steam room, there's like one other person in there. Then I go in the hot tub, maybe one other guy. And you know what we do? We go like this. That's it. Little head nod, little mm, acknowledgement. Mm. Then we don't say a fucking word to each other. Mm. Then I go in my little private stall and I wash my balls in my butthole with nice soap and I take a hot shower and then I go up to my room and I go lay down. Okay, this is what we're doing. And that version of a spa to me is the one I like. There's no one there and I don't have to talk to anybody. I go there to get away from chit chat. Yeah. You like the chit chat. No, I don't like the You're afraid to admit it, but you like to chit chat. <laughs> I don't like the chit chat. Your next special should be called chit chat. I don't like the chit chat. You do. No, I don't. McCone even said it. You come up to his family and you so, chit chat. Yeah, yeah. So here's what we're gonna you do. You see someone on the street and you here's chit chat. What... I don't chit chat. You're a little chit chat. Stop doing that. A little ching chong chit chat. <laughs> oh, 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 really? A ching chong chit chat for the hip hat. <laughs> <laughs> Hyena. Shop it. Oh, Fuck you. Shop. This is what we're gonna do. Hey, Carlos, yeah, that's not yeah, funny. No, yeah, not that's not about. funny, that stuff. This is what we're gonna do. <laughs> and I think it's gonna be good for the show. Oh. All go to the spa? No, the Wii Spa. We'll all go? Yes, we all go as a team. No. Yes, 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 yes. Right? I'm, Bring your baby. I'm going to Andrew's spot. No, no, yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. and then we're going to do the, what, the Bulgama room. But they have Bulgogi in there? No, not Bulgogi. No? No. There's a room there called the Bulgama room at Wee Spot. Look it up. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's the Bulgama room. Okay? Yeah. So that's the Bulgama room. It's 200. Sometimes it's like 215 degrees. Like 206, it says. Yeah, sometimes it's a higher, right? You, it's a very hot. So it's a sauna. Yeah, it's a sauna. Yeah, white people just call it sauna. <laughs> it's just a sauna. How, how, what, what's the degree of a sauna? Google it. What's the average degree of a sauna? Well, they have super... Uh, of a dry sauna. It, it depends on where you go. Some no, no, no. Just, I want to look at this. Uh, you're really, 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 really... One 150, 175. Right, so the Bulgama d takes it to the next level. <laughs> it's like, you know what I mean? What do you It's mean? not regular... More sweat? Yeah. So I can smell more kimchi pouring out of your fucking pores? <laughs> God, you're being so negative right now. So what, what, basically what I'm saying is you go in there and most dudes walk in there and they walk out, but not us. We sit. We're going to sit. Until someone dies. No, no, no one dies. No, no one yeah, dies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're gonna, that's the we spell Bulgama room, right? I'll go in that. We will? Yeah. And you're fully closed. There's people doing hot yoga in there, all that stuff, right? No, 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 no. People are doing yoga inside of the Bulgama, inside of there? Sometimes, yeah. Absolutely not. Then sit you can down. tell them to stop. Sit, I'll go sit down. Okay, okay. I don't want to play that. <laughs> and then look up the clay room. Oh, yeah. The clay room at Wee Spa. Because uh, 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 Ari and I went to the Russian spa in New York, and mm. I fucking love it. You got in the cold plunge. Do you do cold plunge? Yeah, there's cold plunge here, too. You don't do it, though, do you? I do it. Well, every, do, do, you have, go there with me, and I'll show you the fucking my wise ways. Okay. Yeah, well. All right? That's the clay room. Not going to that either. Yeah, you are. Nope. Yeah, and we're going to do that same exact thing. How many bo <laughs> all, all the bodies You're going to use in my there? shoulder as a pillow, <laughs> and we're going to be like that. Dude, that, look how relaxed. You and I like there? <laughs> I would do it for the photo. Yeah. It's fun. So anyway, we go there, right? Hey, room. Hey. Hey, no. room. No. Yeah. Don't you think that'd be a fun thing to do as a group? Yeah. We're going to do it. When do we, let's set a date now. Do it. All right. Do it. All right. Let's, you, can you guys do it Sunday during the day? Yeah. You have to bring your kid. Which Sunday? This Sunday during this the Sunday. day. Oh, this Sunday I can't. Well, then he's not going to do the movie. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing the movie. I'm, I'm available. <laughs> <laughs> How about this? How about this? No, honestly. We'll do a family trip. Monday night. Okay. Monday night, we do We Spa as a family. I'll pay. And then we can vlog it or whatever for the Patreon. 
Well, we're not gonna, they won't let us film in there, obviously. We can, and we can film all, all the way up to when we get naked, I think. Sure. Yeah. And then it'll be a fun night, right? And then you, and I guarantee you at the end of the night, we'll walk out of there and you're gonna look me in the eyes and go, I get it. Mm. I get why you go there. I've it's been, 24 I've been hour, to no, a spa. It's 24 hours, it's not Russian, it's Korean. It's 24 seven. I like Russians. <laughs> It's 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We got it. You're selling us on it. We got to go right. now. There's a restaurant up there. I'm not eating. After fucking staring the, at your cock for an hour and a half? You're not, no. Not, I'm not going to be hungry. I'll tell you that. <laughs> if anything, it'll be for, for a small meal. It, okay. Maybe appetizers. Let's move on then. <laughs> Let people eat there. Shrimp? Yeah, yeah. Look at the little hats. Anyway. <laughs> are they there? Yeah, they are there. Asian women? Oh, yeah. Naked? No. See, that portion, we all get dressed. The third floor where the Bulgama room is. And then the first half of the thing, we go in the men's department. Yeah. We get naked there. And I'll get you a locker far away. You don't have to look at my genitals. No, I've seen it a thousand. It doesn't, I know, doesn't bother I know, okay, but, but you haven't seen it in the wild. <laughs> it's, it's different. It's different. Smaller? More claws. Wow. And fangs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to see it in the wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that Bobby's dick? Anyway, so next Monday night, we're going to do a Bugama room, mm. we spa experience, right? Okay. We'll go. You're flipped on it. We'll go. And then Anyway, Perfect Days, Vin Vinders directed it. And um, I think it's going to just, I think it's great, greatly going to um, redirect my life into a different area. That's what, so the, the gardening, let's go back to the gardening. Yeah. He gardens in it. Okay. Yeah. Does he not? He has a little gardening in his little studio. And I, um, I went, you know, I've always wanted to do that. Yeah, me too. I just don't. Yeah, I don't. And so I went and bought a catnip set up <laughs> to start after watching the movie. Mm -hmm. And I've been watering it, watching it grow. And there's just something about watching something grow from the soil that really it's does, beautiful. does it for me. I had a gardening thing at our old house that we had for a long time. We grew a lot of stuff and ate it all the time, but then I just couldn't keep up with it. But it was like a mechanism. It was pods. Have you seen these things before? Oh, yeah. I saw them online. Yeah, we had one at the house, and it was incredible. We had basil. We had uh, lettuce. We had, uh, 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 I mean, uh, peppers. I don't remember what that thing is called. Yeah, We got it gifted yeah. to us, and we put it outside. The problem is, uh -oh. uh, it, it, it it's 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 circular. Hydro builder, is that what it was called? Let me, let me, let me look at the hydro. Let me look at the hydro builder. Yeah, that's that's kind, that's kind of what it was. It it wasn't this company. I was thinking about getting one of those. Yeah, I don't it. I don't know which one it was, but it did, it was kind of similar to that. But the problem is, it's three sixty, so it has to be placed in a place that gets all sides get sun, which is pretty tough. Very difficult. Yeah, instead of being flat like a garden, so it gets direct overhead. It doesn't it, spin. No, they make ones that have wrote that you can rotate, but it's because the base of that is filled with water. It's heavy as fuck. Yeah. And what happens is it ro it waters itself every fifteen minutes, so you don't have to do anything. Ooh. You just have to test the pH and make sure yeah. it's balanced. Okay. It was cool, but then I was like, "This is not really gardening. This is cheap gr city gardening." Mm. So I want to do it the right way, but then I have to get pots. And are you just growing it in the front of your house, like in a in like a little dirt spot? Yep. Yeah, you got to build a box. You got to build boxes. I'll build a box. Will you really? I'd come over and do that with you. I'm going to raise frogs. That's my wee spa. We'll do some white people shit like gardening. But we're going to do both then. By the way, you know what movie I got caught in? Or not movie, but series. And you're going to be over it. But on the plane ride, just now from Dallas. TikTok dancing? I watched so good. four episodes of uh, Long Strange Trip. Dude, I love that. That's what got me back into the fucking great, uh, got me back in the Grateful so, Dead. Here's what's crazy. Yeah. Like a couple years ago, because the guy who I play on, Dave, Mike, mm. the real guy, him and I are friends, and he's a, he's a big fish fan. He you know likes this world a lot. And I said, hey, I started listening to The Dead again. Mm. Like, I don't know why. In high school, I liked it okay, but then, well, I wasn't really. And I started, and then I really started to kind of get into it a couple years ago again. And I watched this documentary to kind of validate why I like them because I didn't really understand. I was like, I just like their shit, I guess. But man, this goes so deep. Bro. It man, goes so deep. Man, and, and I don't know if deadheads are probably fucking, I don't know if they like it, if like real fans like it. They but do. I, I don't know. I'll tell, you, I'll, I'll tell you why they do. Hmm. May I tell you why I do? Oh, please. In the late 80s, right, Omar and all my friends, they were all deadheads. And they would still go to the shows yeah. back in the day, right? And I was a Velvet Underground guy. I was more like New York street. I didn't yeah. like flower you power. You like grungy. I like heroin, yeah. s and kind of things. You know Dirt I mean? bags. Yeah. 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 There's a better way to say it. C <laughs> you like CBGB. Yeah, I like CBGB, the remote, that kind of thing, right? Dirty. So I, Sorry. 
You're right. Yeah, you like dirty. Um, dirty fingernails. So that's fine. But these people had dirty fingernail fans too. Right, right. So different kind. My whole life, I hated the fucking dead. All right? What? Hated them. So not hateable. Well, I, cause I'll tell you why. I don't like 45 minute jams in G minor. When you're ripped, you do. I know you do. But it's like, I'm more like two, three minute song, whatever, right? Right, right, right. So, I don't know where I was, but I was with a bunch of like hippies, old hippies. And I was going, it, it was just like, I'm now, now I'm 52, right? And I'm like, yeah, fuck the dead. And like, did you see Long Strange Strip on Amazon? And I'm no, I will refuse, right? But then one guy was like, dude, I, I know who it was. Hmm. I know who it was. It was J.H. Harris. J.F. Harris. J.F. Harris, the comic, yeah. It was J.F. Harris. He, we were with a bunch of high hippies and him. And J.F. goes, dude, I was always, always like you, but then I saw that documentary and it changed my whole thing. Yeah. And I go, are you sure? He's like, just watch it. And once I saw it, dude, I just started, that's all I listened to. Uh, it's 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 funny. incredible. Well, I think with something that he said, we related to Jerry. Jerry was Jer, Jerry had said some things in it that I related to so much as a comic. He one time said maybe Weir was qu quoting about him, but he had said that musicians have tricks, and I immediately thought of us. I go, so do comics. We have tricks. And he goes, when you're live, there's tricks that you know gets them in the ha ah, and or does the thing. And without getting too deep into it, performers know what your tricks are that you can kind of get away with. And sometimes you do the tricks and you go, I don't even like that, but I know it's going to razz him up a little bit. Ugh. You know what it is. I rely on mine and, so much. Well, <laughs> and that's fine. Yeah. But, Jerry, so many tricks. but Jerry said once they learned how to do tricks, he realized how little he wanted to do them anymore because then he thought everybody can do these tricks, that means. He was saying, it's like in our reference, if you play a video game and once you beat it once, and someone else is talking to you about them trying to beat it. You know when you're a kid and somebody's like, dude, and then do you know when you get to the castle? And in your head, you're like, I already know this. And I already know what where you have to go. Mm. And he was saying- Where do you go in the castle? You have to go down again. You have to go Sorry. one more level down. Yeah, you always have to go down. And you know why you have to go down? Yeah, why? To get up. You gotta get back up. Gotta go down to, to get, get up. To go down again. And so he, Jerry was translating that tricks he fucking hated. Mm. And he was like, I don't give a fuck if the set suffers a little bit if we can find it more organically than us doing a trick to get back. And I thought, that's what all comics are striving to do, is to wipe away your tricks and 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 and, and what? And take some fucking risks and maybe a joke bombs and maybe a transition doesn't work as clean, but without the trick, you feel more real and it feels more, and when Jerry professed that, that's part of the reason I think the band became so prolific because they were like no more tricks we'll try we'll just keep working it till it's magic what's wrong did i piss you off no he doesn't do the he relies on the tricks no you don't that's not true i do no you don't hey, you just taught me no more tricks no you don't what are you saying no more tricks for me by the way uh, jerry without a beard not good not a great looking not, guy oh, yeah, without yeah, the yeah. beard rest yeah, in peace yeah, but yeah, man i when yeah. you see some photos you're like yeah the beard was good sometimes like a guy like me if i shave my fucking beard look yeah it, it, that diff, different guy it's a Diff different different guy of, yeah yeah like me without a beard is not i'm not i do not like my face without a beard i'm born i am born with beard some people must have beard carlos must have beard <laughs> i've seen you without a beard must have beard thanks man yeah no uh, dude uh, you and i same face no, I, yeah. must have beard you don't need beard i can't that's your Native American name. Don't need beard. <laughs> I must have beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He must have beard. But anyway, that that documentary really kind of it changed me. It brought me back to what I. Yeah, uh, yeah. What? What? You fucking you laughing at me? Um, what are you laughing at, man? Just must have beard. Must have beard. Very funny joke. I laugh at your joke. Gone are the no, days. No, I didn't say that. When the ox fall down. down. I, I really like him, and I'm a big John Mayer fan. And then listening to John do it is, I don't know, it's pretty cool. Mm. With Dead and Company is actually. So I watched that on the way to Dallas, oh. and I'm telling you, it validated why I like them. I was like, why do I like them? Though? Right. Yeah, I was like, right, yes, because they fucking, they're free, and they really are, because the acid tests open up their their range of freedom, and they just- Also, the, we are, you know what I mean, they all stuck together for many, many years together. As long as they could until fucking, I think, unfortunately, the doc t talks about how the drugs just separated the fuck out of them, and pig pen's death, we and I think- We should do this as long as we can. Until we die. I will do this forever with you. Okay. And let's do more magic. Well, I've got some exciting news. Congratulations. And I'm well. It's for, okay. it's actually for you. Oh shit. Uh, I got a phone call from our agents, oh, yeah. saying, "Hey, we are probably gonna have to add seats and shows for uh, Australia for Down Under." 
100%. Sold a good amount of tickets. So people, our Australian fans, coming to see us. They're excited. So we're going to add seats. We're going to add shows. Go to badfriendspod.com. You can actually see all the tickets. And we're coming down to Sydney, Brisbane, Auckland, Melbourne, Adelaide, Perth. By the way, this was a big point of contention. I said to my agent, Perth is on the western part of Australia. It's fucking forever away. Australia is like America. Will we be able to stay in a couple of cities for a couple of days or no? We kind of can do it. It's going to shift around. We can also stay longer. Or they have friends over. I want to hang out with and stuff. Yeah, we can do but that. Not over there. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I think we're going to add some seats in Sydney and all that stuff because they showed up. Yeah, it's a five-hour flight from Sydney to Perth. It's across. It's huge. It's going. It's a huge place. But but here's what boned us. We're going to Perth last. So we're going west, and then we got to go all the way back east, back yeah. to America. I always want to see a cane frog. You're going to see a cane frog. Really? And we're going to go I pet kangaroos. You know about the story about the cane frog? No. Okay. We'll give it. <laughs> I don't know either. No, oh. I do. <laughs> no, what happened was um, <laughs> the cane frog is... Cane frog. Look up cane frog. It's a 20-hour flight back home from Perth. <laughs> so, you know, uh, sugar cane uh, trees, uh, plants? Yeah. Right? There was a bug that was like, you know what I mean, eating those up in, in Australia, mm -hmm. attacking the, the crops. Mm -hmm. So they shipped cane frogs over there because they thought that cane frogs would eat those bugs, but they couldn't jump high enough, right, uh -huh. to eat, they could get the bug. Uh -huh. And these fuckers fucking you know, reproduce so fast, the whole fucking country is riddled with cane frogs. I mean, maybe I've seen them then when yeah, I was yeah, out there. Yeah, it just, it's destroying things. I'll tell you what we're fucking littered with is cicadas. Cicadas are disgusting. I was back in, dude, when I was in Nashville, they're so loud that when you go outside. What is it, locust? No, a cicada. I've never heard of it. You don't know what a cicada is? Never even heard the even the sounding of, the, the sounds I've never heard. Oh my God. Cicadas. Cicada with a C. Do okay. you guys not know what a cicada is? Yes. I don't Carlos, know do you don't know what a cicada is? Uh, these things go underground, Bob. They bury themselves for how long? Is it a decade? Is it 10 yeah, years? Every 10 years, years they resurface and they infest yeah. parts of the country and they're... My Lord. Think about how creepy yeah. that is, Bob. What? Underneath you right now, what? there's there's a billion different versions of this burrowing beneath our feet, Holy shit, creating insane, an infrastructure dude. and a system. It's insane, dude. Chit-chat. 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 Chit -chat. <laughs> Periodical cicadas are insects that spend most of their lives underground feeding off the sap of tree roots underground. Underground, yeah. Wow. Every 17 years. You can't tell me this doesn't mean something. This is like, you know, you remember when they thought that like, uh, you know, like in the Bible, that there's raining locusts and all that bullshit. It was just this. It's just this. We're just seeing it differently. Yeah. Chit-chat. Chit-chat. <laughs> Chit-chat. Anyway, thank you for being a bad friend. <laughs>